Jumping into Psalm 136 here, we're going to keep worshiping. I'm just going to read a couple verses. Starts by saying, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. For his steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods for his steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords for his steadfast love endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders for his steadfast love endures forever. To him who by understanding made the heavens, for his steadfast love endures forever. To him who spread out the earth above the waters, for his steadfast love endures forever. Jesus, we declare this morning that your steadfast love endures forever. Jesus, we approach you with thanksgiving, Lord, because we understand this morning that your steadfast love endures forever. Holy Spirit, we pray you'd give us a revelation of the steadfast, faithful love of Jesus. That our past, our present, and our future is dependent upon the steadfast love of Jesus.
Thank you, Lord. Jesus, you're steadfast, Lord. You have an enduring love. Thank you, Lord, that your love endures forever, Jesus. Thank you for your enduring love, Lord. We just approach you, Lord, and we just say thank you this morning, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for every way you revealed your steadfast love to us in the past, Lord. love, Lord, by dying on the cross and shedding your blood for us, Jesus. We thank you that your blood has been offered in the Holy of Holies, Jesus. So we approach you this morning, Lord. We approach you, Lord, in your temple, in the most holy place, Lord, by the blood of the Lamb, and we just say thank you, Jesus. that you endured the cross, Lord. So we approach you with joy this morning, Lord, just saying thank you. Thank you for shedding your blood. Thank you for resurrecting from the dead. Thank you, Lord, for revealing your steadfast love. Lord, we establish ourselves this morning on the foundation of your love, Lord. with humility, Lord, putting all of our lives on the rock, Lord, on the foundation of your steadfast, enduring love, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. While everything else in our life can be shaken or taken away, Lord, that you have a steadfast love, Lord that will never change, Lord. It's an eternal kind of love. God, let us know it, Lord. Experience it in a deep way, Jesus. That nothing can ever separate us from this love, Lord.
respond, Lord, to your love this morning, saying, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We thank you for the safety, the security, Lord, the steadfastness, Lord, of your love. We're in Psalm 136 this morning, and uh, it says, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. In verse 1, a little bit of how the psalm was written is David is writing and he starts by exalting the nature of God and then they would say this line is steadfast love endures forever what they were doing in Psalm 136 is David would remind them of who God is and then he would remind them of something God had done and something they have been delivered from and the crowd would respond with this song for he is good and his steadfast love endures forever this phrase is repeated 36 times in the scripture for his steadfast love endures forever um, and they would repeat this phrase over and over and this morning we're just declaring to Jesus over and over that it is his steadfast love that is our firm foundation that he is the rock of our salvation that his love never changes for us and uh, a few times they would sing this song actually one time was when they brought the ark of the presence back into the tent of meeting and it says they responded with this song for he is good and his steadfast love endures forever the other time they would sing they sang the song was the dedication of solomon's temple and it says the glory came and their response was for he is good and his steadfast love endures forever in second chronicles 5 13 to 14 says they sang this song for he is good and his steadfast love endures forever and the house the house of the lord was filled with the cloud so that the priests could no longer stand to minister because of the cloud of the glory of god that had filled the house it says when all the people of israel saw the fire come down and the glory of the lord on the temple they bowed their faces to the ground on the pavement and worshiped and gave thanks to the lord saying for he is good and his steadfast love endures forever so lord we just declare lord our declaration this morning is that you are good lord our declaration lord is that your steadfast love never changes and lord like david lord we remind our souls of everything you've done in our history jesus thank you lord for what you've rescued us out of lord lord thank you for the testimony lord of every person in this room lord we just declare this morning, Lord, that your nature never changes, Lord, that your nature is a nature of steadfast love, Lord. We thank you this morning for everything that you've saved us from, Lord. We thank you for our salvation this morning, Lord. We just declare your steadfast love never changes, Lord. Come, Holy Spirit. We need a fresh revelation, Lord, of your love, Jesus. Thank you for your blood that washes our past, Lord, that cleanses our hearts, Jesus. Come, Holy Spirit. To give thanks to Lord, for he is good, his love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is Thank you, the source Thank forever. Thank you for your love, Jesus. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is yours forever. Give thanks to Father, your love never changes. 
We thank you that as a father, you have a steadfast love. Jesus, we thank you as our savior and friend that you have a steadfast love. We thank you, Jesus, that you're more committed to our future than we are, Jesus. You have a steadfast love in our future. Jesus, we thank you that in the present, Lord, this morning, that your steadfast love is here. Jesus, we thank you that you reveal your steadfast love in our past. Holy Spirit, we thank you that your love is revealed to us as a steadfast love. God, we thank you that everything you do in our lives, Lord, is because of the nature of your steadfast love, Jesus. We just engage in thanksgiving this morning, Lord. We engage in thanksgiving this morning, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that you saved us, Lord. Thank you that you shed your blood, Lord. Thank you that you were resurrected. We're going to jump into our corporate set this morning, but here's how I'd like to start. The band's going to lead us in worship, and we're going to jump in exalting Jesus. But I just feel this, this theme of gratitude this morning as Jesus has been revealing himself to us as the one who never changes, as the rock of our salvation, as the one who has been faithful in the past, who's faithful in the present, who will be faithful in the future. And so I would love for us all to stand and just to begin to engage our spirits, whatever it looks like for you to engage actively with Jesus, to engage your spirit, your heart in thanksgiving. And I want us just to start by personally lifting up our own voices and thanking Jesus with all of our hearts. As we've been worshiping in here, I want you just sincerely from your heart just to begin to thank Jesus just for about 30 seconds to a minute. And let's just begin to thank Jesus that he is steadfast in his love. Let's begin to just declare, Jesus, we believe that you are good and your steadfast love endures forever. Lord, we echo, Lord, this generational cry that goes back thousands of years to David established in the presence of God, Solomon's temple established in the presence of God. We echo this cry this morning and we declare, Lord, you are good and your steadfast love endures forever. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you have shown your steadfast love to me. When you saved me from addiction, Lord, when you saved me from the fear of man, when you saved me from alcohol and drugs, Jesus, you revealed your steadfast love. When you saved me from anxiety and self-hatred, Jesus, I thank you this morning. Come on, just begin to lift your voice and say, thank you, Jesus. Lord, we come into your temple with thanksgiving this morning. We exalt you, Jesus. We exalt you, Jesus. We exalt you, Jesus. Oh, Holy Spirit, reveal the love of God to us this morning. Reveal how you've been faithful to us. You're worthy of our worship, Jesus.
gratitude as the, the band and the worship leaders lead us in worship. And let's just engage with Jesus in this attitude of thanksgiving. And I believe that there's something special that Jesus has for us this morning. Is the glory of the Lord to be the light? 
let's just fill this room right now before music starts playing. Just fill this room with your voices. Keep lifting up your voices. Keep lifting up your voices. Oh, resurrection power, Jesus. Oh, resurrection power. We declare, Jesus, you're worthy, Jesus. You're alive and resurrected this morning. Oh, we have resurrection power living on the inside. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, you, Lord. We bless you this morning, Lord. We bless you this morning, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Romans 8 says that the same spirit that resurrected Jesus from the dead lives inside of us. And so we're singing this revelation about Jesus who came out of the tomb and raised from the dead. But that same power that resurrected that dead, lifeless body is living inside of our hearts. So we're going to keep worshiping, but I wonder if there's just one more explosion of thanksgiving in our hearts, thanking Jesus for the revelation that He has made us His home, that He has made us His temple, that He has made us His tabernacle, that He's dwelling amongst us. Jesus, we thank You this morning. Oh, Jesus, we say we're a home for You. We're a home for You, Jesus. Oh, that Christ would dwell in our hearts through faith. Come on, just welcome the Holy Spirit in an increased way. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Make us your home today, Jesus. Make us your home today, God. A resting place, a tabernacle, a holy of holies in our hearts, Jesus. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Make our families your home, Jesus. Make our houses a temple, Jesus. Make our bodies a temple. Oh, wonderful Holy Spirit. Come, fill this room, fill every heart, fill every family, fill every home. Come, Holy Spirit in America, Lord, come to every college campus. Find a home, Jesus. Find a people worshiping, Lord, and inviting your presence in Jesus' name. Holy, sing it out to Him. Holy, holy. place of revelation this morning thank you that you're a holy God it means you're completely set apart Jesus completely other Lord there's none like you there's none like you Jesus Lord we lift our voice to praise you this morning to thank you this morning Jesus we're grateful for you Lord oh we bless your name we bless your name thank you Jesus Let's continue to worship him this morning.
We're just going to let the band play for a little bit, but let's just, as the band is playing, just engage your heart and your voice and just telling Jesus there's just a tenderness of his love here.
We're going to jump into prayer this morning. Uh, the subject for intercession this morning is we're going to pray for our families, our hometowns, those that are close to us that we love. And we are believing for every circuit rider, for every person who is here today watching on live stream that this Christmas break would be filled with the Holy Spirit. Um, the Bible talks, right, we're on this theme this morning of the resurrection power of Jesus Christ and that that power is living in our hearts, that Jesus is alive, he's seated in victory, that he is enthroned in power, that there's nothing too hard for him. And so we're going to pray from this perspective when we understand, right, that the Holy Spirit and the presence of God and Jesus himself is the place that we call home. When we go back to our hometown or our families, um, there's this sense of, I have an eternal home that's far greater than my earthly reality. I have a place in the presence of God that I run to daily that's far greater than any earthly reality. And that place is the tabernacle, the temple of the Holy Spirit that we can daily access through the blood of Jesus. And what happens is when we go to that place of worship and prayer and intercession in our houses, there's an open heaven that begins to take place where the Holy Spirit starts meeting family members, changing the environment of our homes, and that overflows into your hometown. And so here's what we want to pray. I want to pray for first for anyone in here um, that has family members who you're believing for their salvation. And we're all going to pray corporately and agree together. Um, you don't have to raise your hand or anything like that. We just want to believe that those who are lost, that in the next couple weeks as we're on break, that they would come to the saving knowledge that Jesus died, was raised from the dead, that he's at the right hand of God, that he forgives sin. And so I want us to lift your voice, our, our voices and pray. Um, if you personally have family members that need to know Jesus, I want you to call them out by name. If you have friends around you that you know are believing for family salvation, I want you to call them out by name. If your whole family's saved, I want you just to pray for the families of those connected with circuit riders and the greenhouse that their families would experience the power of salvation um, this year. And so can we all just lift our voices and just ask Jesus to pour out his spirit on those that are lost and to draw them into salvation. One, two, three, just lift your voice and begin to pray. Jesus, we pray for our families this morning. Lord, we pray you would pour out your spirit on every home. We ask for salvation, Lord, to reign in Jesus' name. God, we pray for generational lines to be healed in Jesus' name. God, we pray for an open heaven in every house, Lord, over Christmas break. That this Christmas break would be a time of rest, of encouragement, of the glory of God meeting family members, of salvation in Jesus' name. Pour out your spirit on every family, Lord. We pray for the most lost to be found in Jesus' name. We pray for miracle salvations, Lord. Miracle conversations in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Okay, before we go back into worship, I want us just to get in groups of three really quickly. You can just find if you're here with a friend or if you have to meet someone real quick, I just want us to get in groups of three. And I want you to share in your group just very quickly what you would like prayer for in the situation of your family or your life at home or wherever you're going back to in Christmas. So just take like 30 seconds and quickly start sharing in your group what you would like prayer for. And then we're all, in, in terms of your family, and then we're all gonna pray. Um, and I'm gonna have each group pray out that God would answer those prayers. And we're gonna pray for those things. So I'm just gonna give you like 30 seconds to quickly share, and then we're gonna pray. You haven't switched yet to the second person you can switch
not everyone in your group is gone yet, quickly switch to the next person. Okay, a few more seconds. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you just to group up and you're gonna to begin to cry out for all of the families represented in your group for all of the siblings mentioned, parents, whatever the situation is. And I want you just to pray as a group for every request in your group. And I want you to pray just quick, short, passionate prayers, believing in faith that Jesus has the victory and asking him for a breakthrough in that situation. One, two, three, you can start praying in your group. Just quick, simple prayers. You can all pray at the same time if you want to, or just take quick turns popcorning around. Jesus, we pray, Lord, that you would pour out your spirit, Lord, in this room, Lord, every family represented, Lord. We pray for every circuit rider going home on Christmas break, Lord. We just pray for a wave of peace, Lord. We pray for parents that are not saved to come to salvation in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for siblings that are far from God to come to the understanding of the truth of the gospel. Lord, we pray you would flood every home with your light, with your peace, Lord. Open the heavens, Lord. Jesus, we declare that your presence is our home this morning, our place of safety, our place of protection and peace. Lord, we just pray for every family represented on the live stream, Lord. We just ask, Lord, that you would pour Thank you, Lord, for parents that are believing for children, Lord. We pray you'd answer those prayers in Jesus' name. Just 30 more seconds, you can finish up your prayers. Lord, we believe you're hearing every prayer this morning and you're ready to respond.